Um, you might have thought that we were doing the Daniel Negreanu thing and wait until we won a bracelet, but we don't need any reminders that we need to win a back, bracelet. Back, back. finally recovered from uh, the horrendous beat yesterday deep in the uh, deep in the uh, tag team event pops and I we were we were well on our way I guess statistically it's not all that bad but man when you're when you're that deep uh, 30 some players left and you have a chance at a bracelet and you get it in good like that. It feels like a lot worse beat than it really is. So it's strange, my buddy Ryan, it seems like every tournament I ever run deep in, he runs deep in. And Ryan, I know you don't run deep in every single tournament, so it's just kind of strange. Uh, Ryan final tabled, he always makes it deeper than I do, so... We're gonna have to find some way to fix that. Uh, but, you know, he's a great player, a great person. You know, right now I'm super focused and I just, uh, I just really believe that we're gonna win a bracelet this year. Yesterday was really close, you know. I just feel very comfortable. You know, I'm not, I'm not uh, nervous. I'm not thinking about you know, what ifs. As a matter of fact, I was I was giving everybody else a hard time. I was like, hey, look, you don't want to blow this. This is a big opportunity. You don't want any regrets here, guys, you know? Today's an off day, though, because we've been going since we've gotten here. You, you start the tournament at 11 o'clock. You finish it at 1 o'clock in the morning. And it is, they don't call it a grind for nothing. Here's the $25,000 a month motor coaches. I'll take the room with the jacuzzi tub. It's like a hundred steps farther away. We're gonna go see some friends, see how things are going. Ryan, we heard busted just a little while ago, so that's unfortunate. I think sixth or seventh place. You, you know, you have to remind yourself, you're, you're just here for the experience and that kind of thing. Like, whatever happens with the money and all of that is what it is. You've got to make a decision before you come in. This is Todd. Todd, can you be on my vlog? Okay. This is Todd Brunson. Hi, right, I'll see you. You too. Todd, Todd just started Roma Deli. He's in the restaurant business with me. And if you're a poker player, You've got to go there during the series. Roma Deli is on Spring Mountain. Yeah, five yeah. seven five five Spring Mountain. He's in the business now. I had their food last year. Verdi and I are going to make it by there. I promise. And it's really good. You've got to go there and eat and support Todd. He's a great guy. Been around poker forever. Thank you. Your dad's the legend, right? Go eat at Roma Deli and eat a lot of it and spend a lot of money. And if you're a poker to pick poker player Todd is not giving it to you for free you've got enough money go eat there and tell all your friends cool, all right yeah hi man thanks good seeing you man you know Todd he, he uh he just bought this restaurant and it's funny because I just happened last year it's it's over here I think he's on Spring Mountain right and uh Last year, I just happened to go there, and it's, it's very good. It's a very good restaurant. Um, so it was interesting to see that that's the one that he bought. I didn't know, but I guess it's a pretty famous Vegas restaurant. Um, and uh, it ha they have good food. They have great food. Max and Todd, the two poker players that are, uh, that are going into the restaurant business. There's so many characters in this thing, and that's one of the things that makes it fun. Like I was saying, it's all about the experience. You know, we come walking through the door, and there's Todd, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, you can whine and cry about the bad beats and 
and whatever. But you know, the reality of bad beats is that most of the time you're not as much of a favorite as you thought you were. Right now we're going through some of the preliminary events. A lot of my friends and family who aren't involved with poker, they're always asking me like, well, how do you get into the main event? How does that happen? How do you qualify? It's not really as much about qualifying as, as much as it is, you know, showing up with money. All right, so that's it for today. We accomplished what we wanted to, which is, well, quite simply what, what we're doing here. Relaxation. We wanted to rest up, get ready for the next tournament, which is the six max tomorrow. And it's a big one. All of these events are really a serious deal for us. We want to play our best. We also got to introduce you to Todd. His family has been around poker for a long time. And as a matter of fact, Verdi and I are going to go check out his new business tonight. I've already been there, but uh, Verdi's in for a treat. We'll see how that goes. And then we'll get a good night's sleep and get to it tomorrow. Make sure to tune in on my Facebook page, Brian Pincus Poker. 10 a.m. each day, we're going to be doing a live stream. And then follow along on YouTube and Twitter as well. Brian WSOP on Twitter and Brian Pincus Poker on YouTube.